Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Greg with Ideal Trading Ideas. And what we have in front of you is our Robinhood platform with Cheetah Mobile up on the screen. As you can see, current price is $2.45, down 42 cents or negative 15.22% for the day, and up 11 cents or positive 4.70% after hours. We're going to go through the chart real quick. One week chart, we're up 17 cents or positive 7.46%. One month chart, we're up 38 cent or positive 18.36 percent. Three month chart, we're down five cent or negative two percent. One year chart, down 66 cent or negative 21.22 percent. And the five year chart, we're down eight dollars and six cent or negative 76.69 percent. We'll scroll down just to show you guys that I don't own any shares in the stock. We just do this for to be transparent, right, on the channel. And in the future, we do plan on possibly purchasing shares. So this is why I'm showing the stock, right? So what we're gonna do is kind of just go through it real quick, clicking on our E-Trade account and looking at analyst research. As you can see, they're not offering much in analyst research. Right now, consensus is giving it a hold. Um, we have neutral right here um, in terms of fundamentals, uh, technicals, no information, options, no information, smart consensus, peer rating, detail, giving you everything in terms of the industry, software, and IT services. And then they give you a little bit about the performance, performance of SP 500, performance of CMCM uh, in terms of three months and one year, right? So obviously they show you three months time frame, negative 11.70, and one year time frame, negative 21.74%, right? So we don't have a lot of information um to really go by in terms of e-trade so we're going to push forward and take a look at our yahoo finance right so in yahoo finance obviously we have the different charts from the day chart all the way to the five-year charts to the max and uh what we want to do is kind of just scroll down you can go through all this looking at the bid price ask price how many shares people are actually putting up so on and so forth 52 week range dollar 64 all the way to five dollars volume obviously 1.9 million shares and average volume is about 638,000, right? So right now they're giving it fair market value um, of near fair value. And then we go over here to chart events. They give it a bullish pattern detected, double moving average crossover. And obviously you can view all the chart patterns, but short term, two weeks to six weeks up, mid term, six weeks to nine months up and long term, nine months up, right? We can scroll down and you have all the information different news from two days ago cheetah mobile announces first quarter 2021 unaudited consolidated financial results we can go through all of their information right there they have financials annual and quarterly right here revenue and earnings scroll down a little bit more more news recommendation trends obviously for june they're giving it a um a yellowish uh hue or hold as we move down the recommendations ratings we give it a four for under underperform and then analyst price targets right they have two analyst price targets and average is two dollars and one cent currently valued at 234 and all-time high or they feel like it's going to be high at 250 and the low is 152 so anybody on the low end probably smiling right now because they're up in value right so upgrades and downgrades Nothing really uh, from the last past two years. Like I said, last time they posted anything, at least on Yahoo Finance, was 2019, 2016, and 2015, right? So maintains, maintains, downgrades, and initiated, right? From the last one, right? So not a lot of information from um, Yahoo Finance other than what they're recommending um, for, you know, you to hold or whatever, right? So we like to push forward into our trading view platform, obviously, 234 down 42 cent we have overview ideas technicals and financials as we scroll down obviously we have the chart right here it's on the yearly chart we have people's ideas we have technicals on the technical side it's pushing in a neutral area obviously you can go through their financials but we want to try to take a look at people's ideas to see what they feel like right so this person right here says cmcm on moving on up right a long term this was done on february 5th right so if you go back and take a look we'll just click on his chart and what he felt like could happen and we'll scroll down just a little this person felt like hey it was going to go up in value to the five dollar range when he did so we're going to click play and as you can see it reached right around that area that he thought it could reach he thought it was going to go up even further but um, it didn't. It ended up retracing itself and going back down. But if he or she did 
allow it to run up to this range. Hopefully they sold and uh, and got out and just watched it drop back down, right? Depending on what they were planning on doing, whether they just bought the share straight out or if they were doing some type of option trades, either way, they would have uh, they definitely would have won that trade. And as obviously you can see right now, that it's down here to the $2.34 range, right? So it played out pretty much like he or she wanted it to play out. What we're going to do is scroll up and exit out of that. You're going to take a look and just move down even further. You have a 15 minute chart. That was January 23rd. So hopefully it played out the way they wanted to play out. They were long as well. Obviously it did. And uh, so we don't really have a lot of people talking about CMCM. Now, one of the things that we want to say before we move forward is that anybody has done a little bit of research on this company, you know they have a class action lawsuit against them right now. It's been going on since 2020. And uh, we haven't dug too deep into it, but we know that it's over 100K um, in terms of the investors that are piling into this lawsuit. And um, this is one of the reasons why the company lost so much, so much in terms of their um, their stock price, right? So what we're gonna do is move forward. You can click on trade now to get to your charts. And obviously we're in the weekly chart. And once again, what we're gonna say is, hey, our blue lines are our support lines, our red lines are our resistance lines, and we have everything mocked up for the 52 week highs and 52 week lows, right? So what we wanna do is kind of go back in time and take a look at, we'll make it smaller so we can see. And we went back as far as 2017. So we have a high of $13.79 and a low of $7.49 back in 2017. 2018, we have a high of $18.20 and a low of about $5.28. 2019, we have a high of $8.01 and a low of right around the $2.90 range. And then 2020, we have a high of 425 and a low around the 463 ish range. And then going over into 21 so far. So 2021, we have a high of about 501 and a low of about 179. Now, obviously, when we actually take a look at the charts, they'll show us exactly what our highs and lows are for 52 weeks or whatever. Or we can always go back in time and take a look at that. But According to just us mocking it up, this is what we have, right? So what's happened over this past week? We're gonna make it a little bigger so we can see the chart a little bit more. And obviously each one of these candlesticks represents one week, right? So last week was right here. It obviously ran all the way up to this support line that's acting as a resistance. So when did this support line form? That was 2019. So this is a 2019 support line that's acting as a resistance. It went up. It touched the support line and then it reversed and went back down. So what do we believe could happen in the next couple of weeks, right? So as you can see, I have arrows going up and down all over the place. I believe right now it's a possibility that next week we're going to watch it fall down a little bit more in price. I personally believe that it may fall down to that $2 price range, even maybe into the 190 ish uh, range. But if it falls lower, you know, in the coming weeks, we'll probably see it touch that 179 support line, right? Usually when it, once it touches the support line, it tends to reverse shortly and go back up. And this is why we have this green line right here. And then we'll see a small pullback, maybe for it to touch down right around the 163 range. This will probably take place for about a month time frame. They tend to kind of um, linger around on the lows for about a month or so. And then we'll watch reverse happen and it'll probably shoot right through uh, that 163-ish, 179 area and head back up. So right around that $2 range. And it may linger, go sideways for a while, maybe a month or so. Then it'll probably push up even further to this little top area, which is about the 230-ish, 250 area. And, you know, who knows what happens after that. But I believe that, that if it does drop, we will make it back to that 250 area at least, right? And, uh, and maybe even... Um, you know a little bit further which is close to that 293 dollar area now that's if it was going downward if it goes upwards i believe it's going to touch our support line that's acting as a resistance again which is 290 i believe it's going to touch there again and possibly reverse shortly go down to that you know uh maybe 250 area before reversing and going back up cutting through that support that, that support line is acting as a resistance and going up as high as this area right here right so as high as about 343 ish 
maybe even about 3.30 ish um, area before reversing, coming back down, touching our support line, actually using it as a support, and then possibly heading up even further, right? So it's a possibility we'll see it um, go up even further. We'll change that to green real quick. So I feel like that could possibly happen. Um, we just have to kind of wait and see and watch to see how it plays out as time goes on. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I just like to go over the different um, stocks and tell you what I plan on doing with my money. So this is one of the, the plays that I'm actually watching to see how it unfolds because pretty soon we're gonna be looking at setting up another video for a trade idea to show you that, hey, we've bought 200 shares, 300 shares or whatever, and we're picking up cover call money from, or even doing cash secure puts to actually try to get in at a lower amount. So right now I'm thinking cash secure put at $2, picking up a couple of dollars and um, over the next week or month and uh, and see how it plays out, right? So anyway, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Remember, if I can do anything to help you, please drop that down inside the comments. And uh, I really do appreciate all the love and support that you've been giving the channel and I will continue to drop these videos. You guys have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Bye.